For this example, we're asked to find the area of a non-standard shape, which means we're going to have to combine a couple of our area formulas in order to figure out the area of this object right here. So I've got a triangle, and it looks like the height of the triangle is 14.92 inches, so that's the H, I'm going to say H triangle. This 3 inches is the base of the triangle, but it is also the diameter of this half circle here. So I'm going to say the radius of the circle is half of 3, or 3 over 2. So hopefully that makes sense. So we're going to plug those into the formulas that we're going to end up using. So to find our area, we're going to take half of the area of a circle. So that's going to be 1 half pi r squared plus the area of the triangle, which is 1 half b times h. So let's plug everything in and see what we've got. So this is going to be 1 half times pi times the radius of the circle, which we found out was 3 halves squared, plus 1 half times the base, which is 3, the base of the triangle, times the height of the triangle, which is 14.92. And the units on this are going to be inches squared. I'm going to hold off and add those in at the end. So if I begin to work with my fractions here, I've got pi over 2 times 3 halves times 3 halves is 9 over 4, plus 1 half times 3 is 3 halves times 14.92. If I continue, I'm going to substitute 3.14 for pi, and then that's going to be times 9. If I combine that with my fraction denominator, 2 times 4 is 8, plus 3 times 14.92 is 44.76 divided by 2. Continuing with my numerator here, if I multiply 9 times 3.14 and divide by 8, I get 3.5325. I want to keep as many decimals as I can so that I can round accurately at the end. 44.76 divided by 2 is 22.38. And if I add those together, I'm going to end up with 25.9 rounded to tenths. That's my final result for the area, and the units are in inches squared.